Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Grammy's Nature Nugget. So glad you're here today. What animal helped God out after the flood? Actually, two animals did. Do you, have, do you remember the story of the flood? The people of the world, of this world, had become so wicked that God sent rain to flood the world. But God saved Noah and his family, and they were safe in the boat that Noah had built when they came, uh, when the flood came, and it was called an ark. Remember how it rained for 40 days and 40 nights until the whole world was covered with water. Then after 40 days, the rain stopped. And another six months went by, and the ark that Noah had built rested on Mount Ararat. And began, the waters began to go away, and the tops of the mountains could be seen. And then God brought a strong wind to the earth to dry up the waters. Finally, when the water had gone, almost gone, Noah sent out a raven first animal that helped God, and to see if there was any dry land, and the raven never came back. Then Noah sent out a dove, and the dove came back. In another week, he sent her out again, and she returned with a olive branch in her mouth. Then after another week, Noah sent her out again, and she didn't come back. So Noah sent a dove out three times. The Bible says we should be as wise as serpents and as gentle as a dove. A dove is a very gentle bird. It doesn't bite or peck. It does no harm. And this is how God wants us to be. A dove and a pigeon are from the same family. They're basically the same bird, except a pigeon is a bigger bird. Dove lives about 10 to 15 years. They are a very intelligent bird. Today I brought a coloring sheet that says God made the dove. It's a beautiful bird, isn't it? He has a small little head relative to his body size. And he has a long neck. His body is shaped like a, like a teardrop. And he has a long or a medium-sized beak and a very large, dark eye. You, and a huge, long tail. You could color a dove just about any color, white or gray or brown. A dove looks so gentle just by his looks. Have fun coloring that. Now, during World War I and World War II, doves and pigeons were used to send messages to people on shore from or from a place to place on land so that they didn't have to use radios to send messages, which the enemy might intercept. God can and will use us to share his story as we grow in wisdom and knowledge of the Lord. Do you want to be a messenger for the Lord? Do you want to share his story with others? Let's be open and submissive to his Holy Spirit. Pray with me, will you? Father in heaven, I just thank you so much for all the children. I thank you, Lord, for the dove, what a beautiful representation of your spirit and how sweet it is and its cooing sound. Thank you, Lord, for making the dove and the pigeon. And thank you, Lord, for having these children come here today. Bless each one of them, I pray in Jesus' precious name. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed learning about the dove and how beautiful he is. So have a wonderful Sabbath and see you next time. Bye.